Oh, a little olive. You're so cute. Say hi. Say hi, little olive. Look how cute that little face is. Oh my goodness. So this is my new cat. That's my new cat. <laughs> this is Kayla's new cat. Whatever. She's cute. Cute, right? What is up, people? How the hell are you? I'm Tyler Nolan. Welcome to the show. Today, um, I got a few things to do. I got a couple animals to feed. I feel like it is time for Rusty to take another meal. Um, a few days ago, I got some Burmese pythons from Chandler. Chandler caught some babies, or his friend caught some baby Burmese pythons. Have them right there in the freezer. So actually, let's, let's grab these bad boys real fast to show you. Check it, we got baby frozen berms okay so there's two of them in here what I'm gonna do today though I'm not gonna use them as a whole uh, I wanted to see I don't think the baby king has even eaten a berm yet in his life he's been being fed corn snakes his whole life as as far as I know um, so the other day I fed him a little I fed him like the head of one and another piece a little tiny like couple inch piece the other day I was trying to send some rat pups with it didn't end up working out I've tried a bunch of other things, didn't work out either. He didn't want Yo. You need to shut your mouth, okay? I am trying to do things, okay? I'm working. You need to chill. I'll put you on your perch. And hi, you, Taru. Yes, hi, Taruk. Say, say hi to everybody. Hi, Taruk. Yeah, great. Okay. Hi, Taru. Yes, I know. Hi. I'm gonna put you on your perch, okay? I'm going to continue working. Thank you very much. See you later. All right. So yeah, back to what we were doing. I'm going to make a Burmese Python burrito today. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to thaw out a good section of this guy. I'm going to go grab some rat pinkies from the garage freezer. And then we are going to make a little smorgasbord with these berms. So stay tuned. I'm going to defrost them right now and I'll spare you all those boring moments. All right, so let's see here. We got this little berm. So he's a decent size length right here. Let's see if I can soften him up a little tiny bit just so he's a little bit more pliable to work with. Go like that. Bam, bam, bam. So this is already, as it is, a pretty good meal. You know what I mean? So technically, just eating this snake is more than enough for this king, okay? But I'm going to enhance it a little bit by shoving a couple of these little rat pinkies in there. So I'm just gonna pretty much, I'm gonna take off a nice little section like that, good little section, boom, with my handy dandy PVC snake chompers right there, all right? See that little section? Boom, little Burmese. Oh yeah, got some baby pinkies. I'm gonna put these in a bag together and then I'm gonna shove them right in there and make a little snake burger. Nice and frosted and warm, perfect. Ooh, it's all gooey and gross. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we gotta Figure out how to open up this berm a little bit. I'm gonna co probably go this end just because it's a little easier. All right, let's see here. I need to get like a. All right, so 
I'm gonna make, I'm gonna pretty much just open up this berm. I'm gonna use a screwdriver because it's nice and nice and hard. I'm just gonna open this freaking thing up like this, okay? Boom, spread that skin open so there's a nice little sock pretty much, you know? I'm gonna take these pinkies and I'm gonna shove them right into this freaking berm just like this. I'm gonna take a, use a, a, a permanent marker just cause it's nice and fat, you know? I can kinda use it as a plunger and plunge these pinkies down in there so they go all the way to the middle just like that. So that way, this is the part that I'm gonna feed Rusty right here cause he can easily eat that end first. It's not as big as this one. And that's gonna have pieces of food inside here also for them. So he is getting both meals at the same time. So instead of feeding him a whole, a whole Burmese python which is too long for him to eat, I'm just gonna cut it up into sections like this. That way I probably get like three or four meals per Burmese python that I catch. I'm going I'm going tonight again actually. I'm supposed to go uh, Burmese, pot, Burmese hunting with Alex uh, later. So hopefully we can catch some baby berms. But for now, these guys will last plenty long. Man, that is tasty. A little Burmese python burrito. That works great. Now I actually did uh, rat pup burritos last week. Um, Kevin from Nerd, they posted something with Lilith where they were taking the, the shed of snakes, wrapping them with my rat, wrapping them in rat pups, and then feeding them to the king. My king wanted nothing to do with it. So this the little Russ is not going to be able to resist. So let's go sneak on into the snake room. All right, little Russ, here we are. Now there's all these leaves in his cage, which hopefully won't be too distracting for him. I want to be able to get a good shot of him eating. So maybe we could just move these out of the way for now. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Get stuck here. Now, let's uh, go ahead and remove his hide box. Okay. Slide this glass over a tiny bit. Now we're gonna grab this one out also. All right, there's little Russ right there. So now I'm gonna grab this nice little burrito I made him. Hey, dude. So let's see if he is interested in this. Hey, dude, look, check this out. Got this food I got for you, bro. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. There you go. Tasty. All right. So there we go. Success. So now you see how he got that short end? All right. So you see how he got the, the skinny end of that berm? That is exactly what I wanted because that'll fit in his mouth perfectly, that one side, okay? And now he's just gonna gobble up that thing and the thickness of that Burmese python with the rat pups in it is the perfect size to fit his body. He's gonna easily be able to work his jaws around that berm, no problem. So let's just be nice and quiet and patient and let him slurp this berm down. Oh man, I'm super stoked. What a great little eater. So you see how he is up in the air right now? His body is going below the skull behind him. So I'd assume he's gonna have to reposition himself here in a little bit. Yeah, see, he's, that's what he's doing. He's gonna reposition himself a little bit just so it's a little bit more comfortable to swallow because he's kind of in a really weird position right now. So he's definitely gonna have to reposition himself so he can get this thing down. All right, see, so now, like I said before, he was in a weird position. So now he has moved down to the floor where it is a little easier to eat. Booyah, baby. 
He's right at the end of it now. Ooh, that was a good meal for you, bro. I'm stoked. That was a big one. Definitely took him a little bit longer to take that down than a corn snake, obviously, because corn snake is a lot thinner than what I just fed him. But dude, look. He took that down no problemo. Almost done. And that's a really good meal. Oh crap, what is that? Oh, that's Starbucks. Starbucks is here. You all full there, bro? Look at that meal, man. You ate that up. Hell yeah, good job, Russ. Did good. I'm proud of you. Swallow that thing down. There you go. Keep on giving it that swallow. Get it all the way down there. Now I just want to stay super still. I don't want to distract him too much. Good job there, Rusty. Awesome. That was a good size meal for sure. Well, Russ, relax, dude. Relax. Well, that's that. Good job, Russ. Awesome. And I don't want to freak him out because he just ate. I, just, I want him to finish swallowing that. I got to put his hide boxes back in. Bada bing, bada boom. I know, bro. Oh, look at him standing up with him. Look how thick he is underneath there. Awesome. You just got a good meal in today, bro. Relax, relax, dude. I'm trying to put this back in for you. Come on, chill. Chill. Trying to get me. Relax. Close that side of his cage. Put this in here. Woo! He's a feisty little cobra. You see that? He is all over the place. Can you let me put this in here? Don't want to upset him. So I put all this back in here so he feels nice and secure. Relax! Look how fat he is now. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad he got a good meal in. I'll throw that in there for you, bro. Relax, dude. Chill. Chill, man. He is. Be careful. Hey, man. What a cool little king. Here you go, Russ. Such a cool cobra. Yeah, look how long he is. He's all of a little over four feet long. He's gonna grow fast too, especially feeding him these berms. The way that I'm gonna be doing it, it's gonna be awesome. Whew, sweet, so that's that. I figured he deserves his own video, his own feeding video, since it takes so much time to take care of him and get him to eat. I have to specifically make sure he gets those certain meals. Every other snake in here is pretty easy to, pretty easy to eat. No, nothing really has such a crazy diet. Except for that, snake eaters are a pain in the ass. But hopefully, he'll get to the point where, I mean, honestly, I'm not even too worried about getting him over to rodents because I live in South Florida and we have Burmese pythons everywhere. They're super easy to go out there and catch yourselves. So as long as I have an endless supply of that, and we have freezers, obviously freezing them isn't gonna get rid of, hopefully gets rid of most of the parasites Obviously, some things can still live for a little bit longer. It's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more risky feeding snakes, but the animals I feel like are better off eating what they're supposed to naturally eat. You know what I mean? I feel like there's something in snakes that king cobras eat. Yes, just doing a rodent diet for kings is good too, but I feel like doing a combo is even better. So that's it. Russ is super, super fat and happy. I gotta get to doing other things around here, feeding all the other animals, the rhinos, a couple other things. So stay tuned guys, I'll see you soon. Peace out. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the